In ultra hardcore, death is inevitable. It came for others before, and one day it'll come for me too. And when that day eventually comes, someone new will pick up where I left off. But even though our fate may be sealed, our creations will live on, standing eternally for all future visitors. A reminder of who once thrived here. Welcome to UHC Generations! This will be the first time I'm logging into this world ever. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I was expecting to spawn in the middle of nowhere. Where am I? Hold on a minute. This is... This is new. I seriously have. Oh, okay, never mind. We're, uh, <laughs> we're right here. That down there appears to be Founder's Town. And oh boy, am I glad to be spotting somewhere safe. Now is probably a good time to explain the history of this world. I don't know every exact detail. The older builds in particular are a little bit fuzzier to me, but hey, that's just the nature of time and history, right? The original creator of this world was a man named Flaming Moai. He built up Founder's Town, this place where we're in right now and many other places I'm sure we'll come across in our travels. Unfortunately, a Vex got the best of Moai and the world moved on. The Evoker has to die. Good thing I barricaded that one villager. No, no, no! A Vex, man. Next in line was Quilby, who made some big improvements to the town and a few other builds around the area. He met his demise in a faraway cave, searching for diamonds. I can't believe how quickly I just died. Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> and then there's me. I may be just taking my first steps in here, but don't worry. I've got some big plans for this place. We're gonna work together to create some amazing new builds and lay down some infrastructure for future generations to hit the ground running. There's just one big problem. In case you're unaware, Ultra Hardcore isn't just any regular old Minecraft hardcore. It's hardcore with no health regen. <laughs> That's right. This health bar here, not gonna regenerate on its own. If we ever want to get hard back we're gonna need regen or instant health. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride, but I am so excited, and I hope you are too. We're in some sort of like bell tower maybe? I mean there is a bell up there and I'm kind of curious where these ladders go. A little bit of redstone going on here. Huh, interesting. Oh there's a daylight detector. Oh that probably rings the bell when it gets to be a certain kind of day. That's that's really cool actually. Ooh this, this is really cool. You can get quite the view up here. Oh man this is beautiful. Wow you can really see so much of the world from up here and of course all of Founders Town. Trying to be as careful as I can to not descend these uh, ladders too fast here because I really don't want to start off the world already down some health. Welcome to the world of UHC Generations. This is an ultra hardcore world, hardcore with no natural regeneration. You are here because this world was given to you by someone just as you will give it to someone else when you inevitably die. Make the most of the time you have. Good luck. Flaming Moai. Aw, that's, that's actually really sweet. I wasn't expecting to get a little, uh, you know, introduction to this world. Uh, thank you, Flaming Moai. I appreciate that. Alrighty, guys. I think it's about time we leave the confines of our starting tower and go explore Founder's Town. It's a lot of ladders for a place where you can't regain any health. That's more than a little terrifying. <laughs> All right, here we are. Founder's Town is looking pretty good. So I believe besides the animal pens, Flaming Moai put the vast majority of this together. So all the buildings, all the, you know, the bridges and infrastructure and stuff. And yeah, this is looking really good. I quite like all the different colors of terracotta. Behind me here are the vast expanses of Badlands and a large desert off to the side. And oh my God, it is already thunderstorming. Okay, one second. I need to go sleep this off ASAP. I am not taking a point of damage unless I need to here. <laughs> Thank you for putting a bed here. Seriously, I would have freaked out if I hadn't seen that already. Oh, and this is the quest area. Oh, I was looking forward to finding this. This is also started by Flaming Moai, and the idea is that we can leave quests here for future generations to come back and finish them. So you'll see a few different pieces of paper and books here and even some like partially filled out maps that have been left here by the previous generations. Let's see what we got here. Urgent quest, make your monument. Quest, recover my items. Quest, find 10 cookies. 
Interesting. Okay, we'll get back to those. The quest system is going to be very, very important, and I'm super excited to start exploring some of these and getting out into the world, but this is ultra hardcore. <laughs> We're gonna need items and food and armor ASAP. So I guess this is the building we came from. That's the uh, the big tower up there with the hardcore heart. That's pretty cool. Oh, what is that over there? There, oh, There's a cookie up there. Oh my god, that's part of the quest. Okay, <laughs> that's really cool. We'll have to get back to that though. Hi, buddy. I, uh, I cannot make you stand, unfortunately. I guess you'll have to sit there. All right, all right. Enough getting distracted. We really need to find food and tools. And I guess in the process, we'll explore more of Founder's Town. <gasps> there's a dog. I, I also can't... No, oh, man, I can't move this guy. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate, but oh well. Down here is nothing but some plants. I really love how all these interiors are like fully fleshed out. I didn't think there was so much going on here in Founder's Town, but this is really cool actually. Up here, even more stuff. Man, this place just keeps going. This is awesome. I love this. You know, for uh, for a world that's built in ultra hardcore, there sure are a lot of ledges and drops. That's uh, <laughs> mildly concerning. <gasps> oh, there's a cute little bedroom area. This is adorable. I really wish I could, you know, move that cat around too, but I, I guess not. Aha! Uh -huh, this is something. Okay, we got some pumpkins and melons. That's a good start. Oh, there's the painting. Yo, I remember this from one of Quilby's videos. That's awesome. And down here, aha, here's the storage. Very nice. Deep slate, sand, dirt, wood, all this stuff. Ax oh my God, so much terracotta. <laughs> Ooh, more rocks and stuff. That'll be awesome. Got a stone cutter in there. I uh, don't actually see a stone cutter out here here, so I guess I'll just... My first contribution to UHC Generations. <laughs> and hopefully not the last. <laughs> that would be sad, wouldn't it? Got like mob stuff. Ooh, enchanted golden apple. That's pretty cool. And uh, final message by Flaming Moai. Hmm. We'll come back to that one. For right now, the only thing on my mind is gearing myself up because I am a weak, fragile little boy and I need armor as quickly as I can. Okay, I've kitted myself out in some iron armor and iron tools. I got some torches. I got some food. I got a spyglass for looking at stuff that's really, maybe not those guys. Look at that stuff that's really far away. Ooh, a bee and a cake. Wow. A little bit of dark oak down there. Interesting. And I'm feeling slightly less scared now. <laughs> Still uh, definitely very terrified, but you know, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. And I think at this point, guys, we've got a pretty good idea of what Founder's Town is going to be like, at least for right now. It's, of course, our home base, our base of operations, where all good things come from, and where our safe space is. Our very, very important safe space in this cruel, cruel, unforgiving world. <laughs> All right, not to be too dramatic, but I mean, that's just kind of how it is here on Ultra Hardcore. There is, however, one particular place that I have in mind that I've been meaning to check out. I think it'll be a really cool little starter adventure for us, and it'll get us some very, very important items. Just gonna grab a couple more things from here, and then I think we're off to our first adventure outside the walls of Founder's Town. Absolutely crafting a shield. I'm not sure how I almost left this place without one. Jesus. Word from the wise, shields are very, very good. <laughs> I wouldn't leave home without one. So there's a specific area we're looking for. It's, uh... I wouldn't quite call it a biome, but it is kind of a biome in a way. And it's got some very, very, very important items that I really think is worth checking out as soon as possible. Only problem is I don't know what direction it's in. So I think it's time for a little bit of exploring. get a sense of the scale of this Badlands when you leave Founder's Town. Oh my god. This place is absolutely massive and I'm glad we settled near that little foresty area because wow, this it just keeps going and going for a while. This place is absolutely gargantuan. But more importantly, I think I see what we're looking for up ahead. Uh-huh. That is most likely it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this place. If you don't see it yet, you'll see it very soon. Look at that. <laughs> 
That is absolutely incredible. Hold on, let me get to a better vantage point. There we go. Holy crap. Look at all of these flowers, and you can see the moai over there as well. In case you're not picking up what I'm putting down here, let me explain something. This is no ordinary plains biome. This is, as those have come before me have called it, the Fields of Regeneration. Why the Fields of Regeneration? Well, in Ultra Hardcore, one of the easiest ways to regenerate health is by drinking Suspicious Stew. There is a Suspicious Stew crafting recipe where you can put in a flower that actually grants you a brief amount of the regeneration potion effect. And the regeneration Suspicious Stew just so happens to be crafted with Oxi Daisies. So I believe what Flaming Moai did is he set up this entire custom biome behind me here. Thousands and thousands of Oxi Daisies is kind of a gift, a welcome package for new players, where they can retreat to the sanctuary if need be, craft up more suspicious stew, regenerate their hearts, and rest easy knowing that the entire place is illuminated and should be basically mob free. It's a brand new day, and no mobs spawned last night. I think it's about time we head back home. I love how the Grand Tower of Founders Town is the first thing that loads in in the distance. You can see the hardcore heart built into the wall there like a clock tower. It's so cool. Alrighty guys, we're back in town. We had our first little excursion outside of the town walls, and I am very excited to start contributing to the legacy of this world. Before we start off with many of the building projects and quests and everything that I've got bouncing around in my mind, there is one thing in particular I want to touch upon. The previous inhabitant of this world, Quilby, unfortunately met his demise in a cave trying to find diamonds not too long ago. At the end of his last video in the world, he actually gave me instructions on how to go back there and retrieve his items. If you want to find my items, you basically just head north. There's a desert village just before like a Badlands biome and then there's a big cave entrance there. Most of it's lit up already. I just went a little bit to the left. So yeah, I think we've got our work cut out for us here, guys. I'd like to venture off into the dark depths of that unknown cave and go retrieve his items. There's all that valuable stuff just sitting there and I would absolutely love to get my hands on it. But unfortunately, I think that is going to have to wait until next time. Oh, you can't even see my face. Thank you guys so much for watching episode one of this brand new series. I really hope you are as excited for this world as I am. I am am stoked. <laughs> like super, super stoked. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing that as well. And until next time, guys, this has been Leon and I'll see you in the next one.